I really want to eat this chocolate. But I need to save it for the challenge. But I really want it. Hey everyone, I'm Rahi Patel, your curiosity correspondent based at MIT. And in this challenge, I want you to measure the speed of light with something delicious. Chocolate. Light is the fastest thing in the universe. If you had the ability to run at light speed, you could run around the entire planet almost seven and a half times in just one second. Light is a wave and can be characterized by its wavelength the distance from one peak to the next. The light waves we see make up only a small fraction of what's known as the electromagnetic spectrum. In the spectrum, light is ordered by wavelength. Maybe you've heard of many of these kinds of light, infrared, radio waves, UV rays, X-rays, and more. But this is the box I want to focus on in this video. Any light with a wavelength within the range of one millimeter and one meter is called a microwave, which is the kind of light that this thing uses to heat up your food. So how do I expect you to measure the speed of light using a microwave and a chocolate bar alone? How about by using a ruler? If we can measure the wavelength of our microwaves, we can use that to calculate the speed of light. A microwave works by reflecting microwaves back and forth, which causes the water molecules in your food to warm up. If we put a chocolate bar here, we can melt the chocolate bar here and here without melting it here. This is because of how the waves interact with each other. This part of the wave has the highest energy, while this part has no energy. If we measure from the center of one melted spot to the other, we can get the distance from the peak to the trough. If we double that, we can get the full wavelength. Okay, let's go try it out. Here's my chocolate after microwaving on high for 15 seconds. The distance between two of the close puddles is 6.1 centimeters. If I double this number, I get the wavelength, which is 12.2 centimeters. Now I need to find the frequency of the wave, which is the number of wavelengths traveled per second. You should be able to find the frequency of your microwaves written somewhere on the appliance. Mine uses microwaves with a frequency of 2,450 megahertz, which means that it travels 2,450,000,000 wavelengths in one second. When I multiply the wavelength and frequency together, I get 298,900,000 meters per second as my measured speed of light. And here is the speed of light scientists have measured using special equipment. Not bad for some chocolate bars and a ruler. How close can you get? Try this experiment at home. Can you find a way to measure the wavelength more precisely? Have fun with this challenge. I can't wait to see your results. Chocolate. 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 Oh.